Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn about how you are going to collaborate with your team members and share the files basically within Teams and work collaboratively within those files. So let's see what all options are available. And I'll cover all of those details that will be really helpful for you when you're working with Microsoft Teams. Okay, so the first thing is basically if say for example, you are having a chat with someone, right? So someone or a group of people you are in the chat section here, which is the most commonly one uh, that is ba basically used. So for example, I have created this regression testing and there were a couple of participants that we have already added as part of the previous tutorial. Now, how we can share or work collaboratively. The first thing is basically is sharing the files, right? So if we go to any of these groups that we are chatting with. So in the file section, if you simply click on, uh, you know, the files here, you will be getting an option to share the file, right? So if you see this option here, you can see that I can share the file from OneDrive or upload from the computer. Okay. So say for example, I want to upload the file from my computer. Okay. So let me go to the documents and here I have created some of the demo files. So for example, I want to share this Excel file. So I'll select this Excel file and click on open and this will upload this Excel file into this particular group and people will be having access to this particular file and that will be available here. Okay. So if I go to the chat section again, so you'll see that this demo.xls file has been shared. Okay. And if we go to anyone goes to this file section, um, uh, files uh, section of this particular regression testing uh, group, then they'll be having this demo.xls, whichever file name that you will be shared, it will be available here. In the right hand side, you will see that you have three ellipses here. Now you can open in the teams, which is default or the desktop, which is if you have Excel in the desktop. So you, you can use the desktop app to open this or you can open open it into the browser. Now, if say for example, you want to change the default, right? So say for example, I want to change the default as soon as I want to open any of the file rather than Teams default. I want to always use desktop app so I can use desktop app or the browser. I can change these default. I'll prefer Teams default because that is way more easier. And then if say for example, somebody wants to download this file that you have shared, they can go ahead and, and download or you can copy the link for this particular file, right? And then you can share this link, right? So I can simply copy and share this link with someone and they will be able to edit, right? So you'll see that anyone with the link can edit. You can change the details here, right? So you can change who has the edit rights here. If you simply see anyone with the link or people in your organization with the link or people with existing access or any specific people you want to mention. Okay. You can choose that and then you can choose other settings that you can do. For example, can edit or can view. You can change the view or edit options here. Also, you can set up the password. You can secure your file and you can block the download as well. Okay. So say, for example, I simply say, uh, you know, can uh, view and then I can say block download. So this file won't be allowed or other people won't be able to download this particular file. If you simply go ahead and apply and cancel, I'll discuss more on this later. So let me cancel this. Now, people who are working in this particular group, they can simply click on this demo.xls and this will open by default using the Teams XLS default app, right? So here you can see very neat and clean, plain Excel appears here and I can start, you know, working on it. So let me close this. So basically say, for example, I am editing something here and then if say, for example, other peoples are also who you have shared this file with are working, then you will be able to see that the people are working collaboratively in this particular file, right? So now if I go back to chat, you will see that this, ha this has been uh, shared three minutes ago. And this is basically how you're going to share the file from your computer. Now, if I want to work collaboratively, right? So say, for example, in the file section, if I you know go back again and there are other options to share the file, right? So I can go to file and click on share and I can share the file from OneDrive as well. Okay. So for example, the files are there in the OneDrive. I can choose those files and share in the Teams app as well with the participants that are part of that particular group that you have created. Now there are different options. So this is around the chat section. Now if I go to the Teams, right? So we have the Teams here and then there are different 
channels right different squads here so for example this testing squad okay we have general BAs etc so now say for example within testing we have certain members who have joined joined this particular squad and we want to work collaboratively within the testing squad so again we have this files option here if you go to the file option here you will see many more option around the file okay you have the upload option but along with that I can go ahead and create new files right so if you simply click on new you will see all all the different type of files can be created so word document excel presentation one note forms right or visual drawing link all of that can be basically added directly from here so for example we want to work on a presentation as a team okay so we want to do some sort of a showcase and then i can say for example create a file showcase for say for example sprint one okay and pptx and click on create now the testing squad the members of the testing squad know that yes there is a file uh, showcase sprint one ppt in this particular uh, channel here and then team can basically see live what exactly what all work has been done here who is working on it right and we can basically work collaboratively on this particular file now because this file this ppt file is there okay so now here we can as usual simple ppt so we can go ahead and use the themes basically as we want right and then simply go ahead and keep working on this ppt here and this ppt will be basically available to the team right whosoever is part of this te testing squad it will be available here and people will be able to see what all things have been done here and people can work in a collaborative way to complete this and review and put the comments in there okay so this is how you are going to create the new files and work collaboratively the other option is obviously you can upload the files from the computer right so you can upload the existing file and share it with this the members in this uh, squad right so you see that this file has been uploaded then there are different options to upload folder and templates as well if you go to the drop down here you can see that there is a different view option so list compact list or tiles etc and then we can save as or edit the current view or format the current view so for example i want to edit uh, this current view right so it will basically go to the sharepoint and redirect you to the, to the sharepoint let's not go to that uh, as of now but for more detail you ba you basically can go ahead and explore these options okay if you go to this information here you will see that who all have access right so four groups have access okay first thing and then you can add you know different people so i can add more people to grant access here okay and then i can specify you know different title and more details around this as well okay so you'll see you can go through the activity and different details available here now if I go to this three ellipses here you can see that you can share okay send a link or copy a link you can download the file you can add a shortcut you can open these files in the uh, SharePoint and add shortcut to OneDrive all right these are some of the options now if I simply say for example let's say I click on this show actions okay now if you have selected any of the file and clicked on the ellipses you will see you can open you can preview and in the open you have again teams default or in the browser or in the app that is supported for this particular file which is word app right on your on your desktop or laptop then you can share you can copy the link you can uh, you know make this a tab you can make uh, manage access for this if you want to access allow the access to this particular file only to specific people you can manage the access for download deletion and renaming you can use these three options here and then you can open the same file in the SharePoint okay then you have this pin to top which is basically which will pin this particular file to top say for example I want this sprint showcase file to always appear on the top so this will be pinned at the top okay this will be appearing here okay and then you have option to move to copy which is basically if i want to move to uh, some other folder or some other location i can use move to to move the file to some other location right so say for example here i want to move this to somewhere else okay so i can say okay sprinters uh, pos right and then i can say move here 
right so the file will be moved to uh, so looks like this is a private channel so that's why the file is not visible here but usually that's how we are going to transfer or move the files from one channel to another now you can see that the file that i have moved is not visible here anymore okay now if i go to the ellipses here you will see that we have the copy to option as well so let's say for example i want to copy or i want to go to more properties and check out and see the details so if i go to the details you will see the details of that particular file will be available here who has access and what all details are required basically in terms of the activity etc okay now copying this particular file so let's say i want to copy so copy to and let's say this time i'll copy to the public uh, channel here so i want to copy to more places let's go to more places and then for example here rcv academy okay let's copy to rcv academy and where exactly so whether you want to post in general or copy to general or testing teams let's say i want to copy to testing team and then copy here so basically it will go to documents and then testing team so it should actually be visible here so you'll see that the copying is still going Going on so copied one item to testing team okay let's go to the testing team here and go to files and you will see the file appears here okay so similarly if you move the file that has been moved will appear in the channel wherever you have moved that particular file right so this is basically brief about how you are going to work collaboratively within team in the teams and channels as well as in the chat so uploading the file there are different options files you can upload the complete files the folder structure you can share them and the best part is basically opening the file within the team itself by the default teams app and then teams working together collaboratively providing the different comments and everything in the file itself within the team itself right so for example now i want to comment on this particular file i can simply go ahead and click on comments and add a new comment here okay so i can say uh, referring to someone who is also working on this particular file i can simply put their name so only one person is there so i just can do the at mention please edit this section right so i can put something like this and i can assign this comment to whomsoever i want to assign and then you will see that the comment has been you know updated here so this is very good and um, very efficient feature i would say to share the file work collaboratively and everyone is on the same page when you are working remotely this is very very good feature available within teams and if you use it properly it will be really efficient within your team okay so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching